Okay, so this is my uh, trailer model. It's a five by eight. Got the wood. I added my mounts to it. Added a winch. Got my stand on the front. Now, with this, there it's so short. I mean, it's it's you know very very low to the ground. Very low to the ground. I mean, it's it's level. It's level. So what I did was I ordered a kit to flip the uh, axle where the spring will be on top of there. So it'll flip this around, giving me much more clearance. Because right now, I mean, I only have, you know, that much clearance. And if I put anything on here, it drops it down drastically. So lifting it by by flipping that what you have is you have that bracket plus the height of the axle which is about inch and sim uh, 1.75 inch so we've got two inch there plus in about an inch for the new bracket plus the uh, height of the spring itself so I should get right around oh say three and a half four inches of lift on here which will give me roughly a six inch gap above the tire well here it'll definitely give me better room and that six inch lift will put this tongue up to about here which will be right around knee a little higher than knee level for me which will work a lot better for the Jeep because the Jeep I mean, I have, I have to use a big drop hitch for this. Hold on. Uh, I've got that drop hitch there. And then I have, like, this, this is the drop hitch for the little SUV. The one for the Jeep is three inches further. See, that's a five and a quarter inch drop. And... The other one is a nine inch drop. Okay, so if the other one is a nine inch drop and I bring this up six inches, then I will level out the trailer with say three inch drop or just a standard, standard height, which will take a lot of strain off of the Jeep when towing because now it's not weight underneath pushing and twer uh, torquing the, the actual you know tongue it'll be level and also lifting it will get this up off the ground I mean oh, that's to my thumb real low so that'll lift that up about six inches. Give me a greater, greater access in the ass end here. I'm sure it'll change the angle of departure for the lift gate slightly, but not enough to do any real damage. Basically, I can't really tow anything with this because I can't use it to tow because <laughs> everything's in the way. Hi, Peanut. And that's, that's Goofy Peanut. 
So tomorrow, what I'm gonna do when when I finally get the, the parts in, I'm gonna throw this up on jack stands all the way around, drop the axle, pull the springs, uh, set it up for the higher end, bolt it all back together, and then we'll we'll see how that looks tomorrow. Hi. A little weird position for me, huh? You guys haven't seen me like this before. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tight squeeze. Even though I've got it up on 18 inch jacks, it's still a tight squeeze under here. But <sighs> I'm in the middle of swapping these over. And by swapping them over, I mean I'm taking the spring here and putting it over the top. Now to do that, oh, <laughs> now to do that, what we need to do <laughs> is undo this bolt because this is this is uh, uh, oh, it's a special spring. It's only got one one uh, bolt through. The other half has slipped under a tongue, but first thing I did after jacking it up was pull off the bracket here. Because this bracket goes on here and these go over the top and bolt through. That holds that in place. Now the new, ooh, excuse me, now the new set is a much, much heavier duty steel. This will slip on right up over the top here and the bracket will slip between the spring and there. So that'll give me quite a bit of space. Now, I mean, it doesn't look like it right now with, you know, how this is how this is set up over here. Oh, let's see if I can get a better angle for you guys here. Yeah, it's really hard to see with the sun right there, but okay. Let's see. Okay, that's that's better for you, right? Okay, so the bracket, this bracket goes up here. The new bracket, uh, which is much thicker, will go on top and sandwiched between the two will be this spring. So the spring will come up here giving me right around, let's see, three, four inches of lift. Now, I know it doesn't look like there's much room here, but you gotta remember, this is actually gonna be down under here. First thing I did was take off the old bracket, which is a smaller, thinner steel, and even the old U-joints. Here's the U-bolt that was on there. And this is the beefy bolt that's going to go on there. Much, much heavier duty. A lot larger. I mean, it's definitely going to work a lot better. That's going to slip through there. It's going to be nice and pretty like that. And that's how it's going to go. But, you know, like this. So, next thing I got to do is take this off. Now... With this model of trailer, I'm, I had to take off these little guys here. These little ones for the smaller bracket here is a 9 16 Now to do the uh, big bolt up here, it's going to be a 13 16 on the back. And on the outside is an 11 16 that way you can take this off, drop this spring down. Once the spring is dropped down, you can hoist, hoist up your uh, trailer a little higher to get the spring over the wheels. What I've chosen to do is put the wheel up on a chalk block. And once I drop the springs, I'm going to take the wheel out and I'm going to slightly jack up the trailer a little bit more so I get that height 
and I can slip the spring in. Once I get the sling, the, the spring in right around where I need it, because on that end, there's about a quarter inch of play upwards as long as the wheel is hanging. Once there's pressure that on it, then it goes back up. But as it's hanging, I've got that extra play. So when I take this, this spring off, this will come down. I'll move the chalk blocks out from under the wheels. Then I can get what I need done. And I'll see you guys after that's done. <sighs> so uh, before I get too far along, I just wanted to show a little bit of a difference here. Okay, so I still have to raise this another inch to get that under there properly. But I mean, before I was, I was right around here. You know, tire was right around here, and now I have that much space. It's a lot, a lot more space to deal with. A lot more space to deal with. As for the tongue. Like I said, it's now knee level, and I still gotta go up an inch. A lot more, a lot more height to it. I just wanted to throw this in here, because, I mean, that's almost how it's gonna be sitting. Much higher, much more, you know, stable for it when I'm riding, riding with it on the Jeep uh, and with this setup I can add a mud flap to the back and go slightly bigger on the tires if I wanted to like I've got the Jeep on the Jeep the removable mud flaps I can put a bar out add mud flaps to the back and go bigger on the tires if I wanted to and I can even do off-road tires uh, I can remove these wheel wells and put bigger wheel wells on if I wanted to. There's so many different things I can do now that I have it lifted. Um, hell, even sometime down the road I can swap this out for, you know, uh, 3,500 pound uh, axle and, you know, it'll be a little bit wider, but I'll be able to do more with it. I mean, the, this I used to I used to look eye to eye with this and now I mean this is eye level to me we're talking I mean we're talking that much height difference and I still gotta go up an inch so I mean before before I was you know hitting my knee on this. Now it's at my hip. Much, much better. Okay, so as you can see, I knocked this out. Now, these are free to move as they wish. As soon as I get the, the blocks out from underneath it and the trailer jacked up to where I can get the parts in that I need to get in, and then I'll come back. Okay, finally got everything bracketed up, both sides. Nice and uh, fantastic. Got my my hump in the middle. And now we've got seven inches. Seven inches was to I had to uh, <laughs> use a block to get it up high enough to get that piece in there. But, I mean, you can see it's got that camber in for when it's got weight on it. Camber in. But right now they're just kind of hanging. Definitely a lot, a lot higher. Uh, my license plate is now... Ten and a half inches off the ground, and before it was only uh, oh, what was it? Yeah, um, five and a half. Now it's ten and a half, so I gained five inches. 
five inches of clearance on the sides, five inches in height. Uh, and all it cost me was 40 bucks. And people, people will say, well, why didn't you just get the, that bracket and then you could just reuse the old pieces, like the old U-strap and the old uh, nylon nuts. Well, yeah, I could have done that. I could have, I could have, you know, flipped this around, gotten the other strap and then just reuse these, but these would be too short for one. And two, I'd have to get new nylon nuts and I mean, why why spend uh, $28 on two pieces of, of metal and then get new nuts when I could spend 40 bucks and get the whole kit, everything, you know, for the right parts. No running around, no nothing. I got the carry-on trailer. There's the hand. That's what it looks like when you're done. All you're doing is put the spring on top and you're gaining all that space. Gaining all that space right there. I mean, that's, that's a lot of, I mean, that's my hips. That, it's gonna ride a lot better on my lifted vehicle. It's gonna ride a lot better to being towed behind the truck. It's gonna work a lot better. Now, uh, I'll post a link to the part that I got so people can, you know, pull it up and see what it is. I mean, it, it took, by myself with, bare minimum of stuff I mean that's the tools that I used plus two other sockets and I already had the, the stands other people have more tools they'll have friends that can help them and whatnot I'm out here by myself but it took me uh, two hours to do by myself so people that know more about it and have more uh, tools and more friends could probably get it done in like 30 minutes.